A violent weekend north of the river leaves two teens wounded in a shooting Friday night. Another Lee allegedly shot and killed by his stepfather early Sunday morning. All three victims, students at Staley High School in Kansas City North. I'm John Holt. And I'm Kevin Barry. The man who police say killed his stepson is also an elementary school teacher. He made his first appearance in a Clay County courtroom earlier this afternoon. Fox News Malik Jackson is live at Staley High School right now. That district is supposed to be celebrating homecoming this week, Malik, but tonight the community is shaking. Yeah, difficult start to the week here, Kevin and John. Those two teens in that Friday night shooting still recovering right now in local hospitals. But we do know that this community sadly has lost a member. 18 year old Joseph Bonacaruso. Now he has been, his stepfather, excuse me, has been charged with one count of first degree murder and two counts of armed criminal action. The probable call statement detailed and sad as it describes the moments that teen's mother tried to shield her son, but in the end, it was too late. A wooden board now covers the front door of what used to be the Woods family home, now a crime scene. Heartbreaking. That's what we are feeling, you know, as a community. It's just unexplainable. I mean, nobody expects somebody this young to just their life to be taken away so soon. According to the probable call statement, this man, Stephen Woods, was leaving a pool party with his wife. That's when she noticed he was communicating with another woman. When they got home, Woods' wife got a hold of his phone, locked herself in the bathroom. That's when Woods made a violent entry, breaking down the bathroom door. Another child of Woods' wife called Joseph Bonacaroso, Woods' stepson. When he showed up to the home, he attempted to get into the master bedroom where Stephen Woods was locked inside of. During this time, while the accounts differ, Woods opened the door. He fired at least five shots with a 9mm pistol into the chest of Bonica Rosso. He was later pronounced dead on the scene. Woods then fired another shot through the front door with a shotgun, that round hitting his wife. It's just heartbreaking, the fact that Somebody can take, you know, the life of another in seconds. It was a sad and violent weekend for the Staley community. Two other teens were injured in a separate shooting Friday. In a statement to parents, principal Dr. Larry Smith said in part, both incidents hit close to home, and we will all share in the shock and grief in hearing this news. Our hearts go out to our students and the families of all of those impacted by this violence. Our administrative team has been in touch to provide support where we can. It goes on to say, let's focus on coming together as one Falcon, one family in support of each other. Now, I spoke on the phone with Bonica Russo's mother earlier today. She is still recovering in a local hospital, doing about as well as you would imagine. That probable call statement we referenced there also mentions the fact that Woods actually shot Bonica Russo's father in 2016, but that was deemed self-defense. Now, the teens that were in the house when all of this were, was going on, they are physically okay, but of course, they are dealing with the loss of a friend. John, yeah, no question, Malik. We mentioned at the top that uh, that Stephen Woods was an elementary school teacher. Yeah, he was a teacher at Maple Elementary in Smithville. The superintendent says they are aware of this situation and he has been placed on administrative leave. He is due back in court on October 7th for a bond hearing. In regard to that Friday shooting, John, I do want to mention that police are still looking for suspects in that case. Outside of Staley High School, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.